Hello and welcome to KSP and in today's episode we are taking this magnificent SSTO back to Kerben. Yeah, look at it. It's so significant that it actually got the station slanted. Right, we first have to, I wanted to actually take Enli, who is a scientist, and transfer him to the science lab. But it seems that the hatch is obstructed by the wing, so we'll have to do it just internally through the ports. No fancy spacewalks for you, sunshine. All right. That being said, we need to decouple and I will actually try to land this SSTO back to KSP. I'm not promising anything. I'm rusty as hell and I have no idea how to handle, you know, the soup or this um, stock atmosphere. So I have no idea how to judge it. So please don't judge me. Undock. Felix and Enli, you are remaining there and let's go back Val, Hosey and Dan, you guys are going back. I'm overall pleased with, pleased with the performance of this SSTO. Okay, you please no longer be crooked. Thank you. Good. Looks kind of good. All right, so now we have to think and take care of the SSTO. In ideal case, oh, lots of fuel. Yeah, no. Okay, action groups. I have to just remind myself. Okay, three is toggle engine, toggle shield. Yeah, cargo bay door shield. Okay, goody, goody, goody. Air brakes. Okay. Quick recap there. And um, yes, so the return. Exactly. Turn around orbit retrograde and let's find a suitable position from which we will execute a deorbit burn. Like I said, I have absolutely no idea to judge how it goes, so we'll just burn a little bit with RCS. And as you can tell, we have a very little liquid fuel. I didn't want to take a lot and even less oxidizer. Oh, look at that. That's a prime real estate screenshot right there. Beautiful. Probably it will be the, the, the screenshot for the episode. As the station gently drifts away from us. Fantastic. Right. That being said, we now need to find a place from which we will be executing a deorbit burn. I think this place should be good enough. And I'm, I'm aiming for a periapsis of roughly, I don't know, 25, 30 ish. There we go. That should be about right. I have no idea how it will result and if I will be able to land at the KSC. I hope to get, you know, I hope I, I will be able to land at the runway, but like I said, I've actually, I don't believe I actually d have done this before in stock. So yeah, I do apologize if this is not 100% uh, on runway, we'll see. Time warping and I will, I have only 40 meters per second, which I'm gonna use in the closed cycle mode. I have more liquid fuel for the air breathing operation. So I didn't want to transfer too much fuel because I don't want to be wasting. Oop, there we go. I didn't want to waste too much fuel for the uh, that we have in orbit. We will be using it for refueling missions to go further than anyone has gone before. So yeah. Now we are using RCS to the orbit. Seems like RCS is prime mm, propellant for this craft. And it's doing so marvelously. The only problem is it's totally abysmal thrust to weight ratio. So we might as well, you know, put it to good use. All right. There we go. A little bit more burn and sounds fantastic. Fuck. 
40 kilometers periapsis and I'm gonna reduce it somewhere to 30 ish hopefully Thirty, twenty-nine. Ah, I think that's good enough. Time to turn the craft prograde. Let's turn the camera. Oh, this will be a very nice angle. Just have to align it correctly. There we go. Beautiful. Let's do a little bit of time warp until we actually get to the atmosphere well almost i just have to make a few corrections please there we go opening up the air brakes and also the alabons there we go okay Time for descent. Let's see, is it too early to be making these maneuvers? Probably it is. Yeah, the atmosphere is way too thin for that. It's not having any effect whatsoever. Okay, we're gonna just wait a little bit. All of our air brakes and then all of the stuff is already deployed, so I guess the most critical part is that we don't wanna go in, in too deep too fast. And as always, I'm always a little bit concerned when it comes to it, because, I mean, this is not a heat shield, and there is no ablator and these kind of things. However, the aircraft parts have been made a little bit more, you know, sturdy. I think it was in 1.6 or somewhere. I, I don't recall exactly during when, except for the, the landing gear. That one is still bouncy, bouncy. Now, that being said, we are crossing the 50s. I think once we actually cross the 55, I shall be starting to execute the maneuvers. Right, let's see, around 55-ish. Between 55 and 50, actually, to be honest. I think uh, there is there are no signs of heating. Oh, look at that sunrise. Gorgeous, isn't it? There we go. Let's start executing the maneuvers. Let's see if they do anything. Oh, they do. And they slow us down significantly. Oh, we have the heating effects. Well, as always, I'm, I'm very concerned at these higher speeds. However, we are still high enough in the atmosphere so that we could bleed this off. And this uh, SSTO is one big air brake. So we should use it as such. There we go. Come on. Onwards and upwards. There we go. 22 kilometers per second. No, no, 22 kilometers. 2.2 kilometers per second, sorry. Yeah, that would be... I would be already very crispy if I went 22 kilometers per second. There we go. Come on, return, roll, and another braking. Pause. There we go. The sooner we come to around 1800, I'm probably gonna stop doing these maneuvers because I don't want to decelerate too fast because I'm a little bit concerned that I will undershoot and won't be able to land at the KSE and the heating effects are not that terrible at the moment okay so let's stabilize you now okay stop dancing on all axes please okay 1800 good pitch your nose up a little bit Now I want to be decelerating a little bit slower. Good. Okay, not that much. Okay, that may ha might have been a little bit too much deceleration. While I'm doing the yo-yo. Ooh. Okay, 1300. Okay, reduce the air brakes, remove everything, and let's just, you know, fly this thing. I think I might have overdone it. Come on, pitch your nose up. Why are you fighting me? Okay, by the way, guys, this is in post commentary and I realize why I, I, it was fighting me. 
it was basically the direction to program first i was thinking that it was the craft was unbalanced but that's not the case actually the craft is very well balanced so i actually tried to transfer all the monoprop into the forward tank but then i realized yeah it was actually this thing that was battling me constant align to prograde you know pilot which was well trying to compensate and everything you know and that actually costed me quite a lot of the airspeed actually to be honest so yeah i think i'm gonna need to fire up the engines let's you know give them a quick burst and see if we manage to accelerate a little bit to do a suborbital hop there we go A gentle nudge, if you will, in the right direction. There we go. I mean, our um, Delta V is not exactly stellar. So I'm a little bit worried that if we're going to make it. The smart money is on no, but, you know, maybe I should get my Kerbals out and push. Then, Ozzy, Val, what are you thinking? Let's close also the air vents. Okay, come on. A little bit more while I'm here on the top. Give it a little bit extra oomph. Okay, at this altitude it doesn't do much. So I'll probably need to wait until I get also a little bit further down into the atmosphere. We are getting awfully close. Activate navigation. Oh, I see it. I see KSC. Okay, we are not exactly aligned. Hmm. How could I... Let's use the monoprop just to align ourselves. And I'm also using it for a little extra thrust. I know that at this altitude it actually means... It's like, you know, pissing in a lake, but still... Even pissing in a lake makes you feel relieved, doesn't it? Yeah, so... Now let's fire up the engines for a little bit of thrust. Okay. There we go. At this altitude every little, you know, ounce counts. I could really use right uh, about uh, 500 to 600 meters per second right now. Come on. You can do it. You see, the problem is that I'm going too slow. And these changes, if I could accelerate to 800, this would be problem solved. But like this, I'm just afraid that yeah, I, I'm not going to be able to do too much good here. But I can already see the KSC. Oh. Val, what do you think? You agree, right? 250 meters per second, there's no way in hell I'm actually getting to KSC. I cannot glide that far in this thing. Do we get extra lift from this? No, I, I was just thinking that maybe I had a a small spare tank that would give me just a little, you know, like, I don't know, three, four hundred meters per second delta V, because that would have been splendid. At this moment, I'm actually just hoping that I'm able to glide over that small ridge over there, over that small hill, because if I start landing on the hill, it will be very bumpy. That's something that I think I will be able to do, but reaching KSC, Nah. I mean, given the fact that I was doing it first time, it was a rather honest attempt. Okay, let's check the altitude. 3,000 meters. Okay. Slowly level it up. Yeah, no way in hell I'm getting to the KSC now. I mean, this thing flies quite good, but, you know, without the power, the oomph or anything else, we cannot do much. 
so yeah, sorry. Once I actually am close to the landing, I'm gonna kick this last 45 meters per second just to give it that slight nudge horizontally and reduce, increase lift and hopefully decrease the, um, the vertical speed down. So we use combined power of wings and engine. I'm just hoping I will be able to go over those trees because I don't want to be passing through a tree. That wouldn't be too fun. Okay, kick it. Okay, now we're totally out of fuel. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Miss this. Miss that. Okay, and now I should really try to avoid that tree over there. This was close. Okay, popping the brakes. Yeah, actually driving, I thought about it, but I don't think it would really be the option. It's just too far. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna be popping the brakes, hitting a quick save, and wrapping it up for this episode. So yeah, hmm, there is no way in hell where I could be able to get there, or is it? Let's just give it a try. How potent are the engines? You can do it! Oh, <clears throat> Well, to be honest, if you want to watch me, you know, drive to the KSC, let me know, but I think uh, this would take probably an hour or two and I really don't feel like, you know, boring you to the death with it. So I'm actually gonna wish you thank you very much for watching. Like if you like this episode, hit subscribe for more and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. This is Groundforks signing off as I recover this vessel. And let's see. We have successfully recovered the vessel. All the astronauts are back. So, like I said, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.